Hi, I'm Michaela, a lead elementary instructor with TechWise Academy. Today we're going to be working on characters with Scratch Junior. Scratch Junior is a free app that combines coding and creativity. We can create different stories, different animations, different games. Today we're going to be focusing on characters. On the screen is Tick. This is a character that Scratch Junior gave me to start out with. It could also be Scratch Cat. Depends on which version you're using. So if you're using a different version, you might see Scratch Cat here. If I want to move Tick to a different location on my screen, I can click and drag. So it's over there, over there, perfect. If I do not want Tick, if I want to delete Tick, there are two different ways I can do that. One would be pressing and holding on Tick over here. So press and leave your finger there for a second. I could delete Tick here once the X shows up. Or I could delete Tick here where when it starts to wiggle and the X shows up. Notice how the coding blocks went away? That's okay. That's because we don't have a character right now. If I want to add a character, I could go to the plus on the left hand side. Let's say I'm creating an ocean scene and I want this fish to be in it. I've clicked on the fish and now I'll click the check mark. Now I have a fish in my scene right now. If I go to the plus again on the left hand side, maybe I don't want my fish to be alone. I want this fish but I would really like it to be blue instead of green. If I click on it and then click the paintbrush, I can open up the paint editor. So this side has a couple of drawing tools and this side has a couple of editing tools. The squiggle is how I could add to it. So if I wanted to have a red squiggle, I could do this. Now, I know the fish is not touching the squiggle. This would move as one character. I know there's not there's space between it and they're not touching, but if I were to code this, Scratch Jr. says it's one character, so if I coded it to the right, the fish and the squiggle would do the exact same thing. If I want to undo that, I can change my shapes. I could also change my th line thickness. So if I want a square, I have a square with thin lines. If I click one of the thicker ones, now I have one with thicker lines on the outside. On the right hand side, this mouse pointer, or this arrow, is how we can move the character by clicking and dragging on it. This two circles, this rotating tool, will turn it. I am clicking and dragging on it. And then this stamp feature will make another one of it. So if I click on it, now I have two fish. The same thing as the fish and the squiggle, these will move at the exact same time. So if I want them to code to the right, they would move at the same time. If I don't want to have two fish, I can either A, undo it, or B, I can click on the scissors and cut one or delete it. So if I do that, I can click on it, and now it's gone. The camera feature allows different objects or even you to be in your game or story or animation. If I add a circle, I can click on my click on my camera and then click inside the circle, use the camera button, and whatever the camera took a picture of would be in this black circle, which would then show up in the animation or the game or the story that was being made. This paint can will change the color of a character. So I don't want this character to be green anymore. I'd like it to be blue. If I click on a certain color, and I click on an area of the fish or the character, I can change that area to be blue. If I want this to be, I'm gonna use red for this example. If I want this line to be red, this outside line, I can click on it very carefully. There we go, perfect. And it has changed this line to be red. I could use my fill can and I could use, let's do orange. I could fill it in orange with a red outline. But I like that it was blue in the middle, so I'm gonna go back and change that to just be blue. Perfect. I will hit the check mark. Now I have two fish, one's on top of the other, so I need to click and drag this so it's not in its way. If I want to add another fish, but maybe I don't want one that Scratch Jr. already has for me and I don't want one that I can just customize. I want to draw my very own. I can do that by pressing the blank square and then pressing the paintbrush. I am not artistically talented, but I am going to try my very best to make my own fish and I'm going to fill it in. So there's the fish. I'm going to use the fill can to fill it in orange and I would like it to have a eye on it. 
But I am going to fill the outline of it. And let's make it just a thinner eye. Perfect, there is my fish's eye. And now I'll use my rotating tool. Actually, I wanna see if I can fill that in. Oh, perfect. Now I want to do my rotating tool and I want my fish to be sideways. Perfect. I'll hit the check mark. Now I have three fish. I have one from Scratch Junior's library. Then I have one that I made myself. And then I have one that started with Scratch Junior's character library, but I changed the colors to fit what I'd like it to do. On the left-hand side, I can pick different characters, and you'll notice that their picture shows up at the bottom. If I want this yellow character, or this yellow fish to be bigger, I can take this one, this block, and drag it out. This is the make bigger block, and I know that because there is three there are three humans the first one is the smallest the second one is the medium and the third one is the tallest and this is the one that's colored in if I want my character to shrink it would be this one there's three humans but now this one the shortest one is filled in if I want my character to go back to a, its normal size I could do that as well by clicking the one that has the middle human filled in so I will make this bigger and I can click on this block and it's going to get bigger if I want it to make it bigger faster, I could change this number under here. So instead of a 2, let's do a 10. So now it'll get much bigger and pretty faster, uh, or much faster as well. If I want it to go back to its normal size, I can do that. And I could have shrunk it if I wanted to, but I like the idea that I can just make it go back to its normal size. If I don't want to see the character for a little bit, maybe I want it to hide, maybe it's going to appear later, I could click this invisible human and it will make my character hide. In order to make it come back, I can click the human that's filled in and it will show back up. If I want to have it the exact same fish, maybe I want this fish and I don't really know how many times I clicked on it to get it this exact size, I can make a copy of this exact character and how do I do that would be taking the character and dragging it from the character list all the way over to the background. So now I have two fish and they can and it looks like the code transferred as well. These two are different characters. They're the exact same fish, but now I can give them different directions if I wanted to. I can make this one swim up and I can make this one swim down if I wanted to do that. This was a quick video on our way to characters. I hope that you enjoyed this video and check out TechWise Academy for more Scratch Junior tutorials.